In today's episode, we're going to explore the Southern Colonies. Just a review before we get started on the Southern Colonies. There are three distinct regions throughout the 13 colonies. The New England Colonies, the Middle or Mid-Atlantic Colonies, and then the Southern Colonies that we're going to talk about today. The Southern Colonies were very diverse compared to the other regions of the 13 colonies. Well, we've got so much to cover in this episode, so we better get busy. Take a look at this map. How exactly do we know where the Southern Colonies were? Well, if you look at the red color, that identifies the New England Colonies. If you look at the orange color, that identifies the Middle or Mid-Atlantic Colonies. And the green color identifies the Southern Colonies. The five Southern Colonies were Maryland, South Carolina, Virginia, North Carolina, and Georgia. What was the geography like within the Southern Colonies? Well, the Southern Colonies contained coastlines, bays, harbors, plains, and rolling hills. The Southern Colonies contained a diverse collection of people. What kind of people lived in the Southern Colonies? First, you had large landowners. These were the wealthiest people throughout the entire 13 colonies. The plantation owners, indentured servants, which served seven-year terms in exchange for a free voyage to the New World. Unfortunately, there were slaves in the Southern Colonies. A slave is a person that is held against their will and forced to do things that they don't want to do, and they're not even paid for it. And farmers. Farmers were people that worked for low wages, but they had enough, they provided enough for their families to maintain a decent lifestyle. What kind of resources were supplied by the Southern Colonies? The Southern Colonies supplied tobacco, rice, indigo, cotton, and sugarcane to the other regions of the 13 colonies, in addition to countries in Europe. How can the industry of the Southern Colonies be described? Well, industries concentrated mainly on agriculture. Industries concentrated on the development of the plantations, including the exporting of tobacco, cotton, corn, vegetables, grain, fruit, and livestock. Slaves, unfortunately, made a large portion of the workforce. To review, the Southern Colonies were made up of a diverse group of people, farmers, slaves, indentured servants, large landowners, and plantation owners. There are many different resources that the Southern Colony supplied, such as sugarcane, cotton, indigo, rice, and tobacco. The colonies included in the Southern Colonies were Maryland, Virginia, North and South Carolina, and Georgia. The Southern Colonies contained a very diverse geography. It contained coastlines, bays, harbors, plains, and rolling hills, and it particularly had very fertile soil that made good for planting. Industry in the Southern Colonies was concentrated on agriculture, Industries concentrated on the development of the plantation, including the exporting of tobacco, cotton, corn, vegetables, grain, fruit, and livestock. Slaves made up a large portion of the workforce. What about the role of women in the Southern Colonies? Well, the women helped manage the plantations along with the plantation owner. They cared for the sick, and they supervised the slaves. They mainly had domestic roles within the house and helped raise the children. Be sure to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our many Pinterest boards. Be sure to head over to our YouTube channel where we have new videos coming out all the time. And head over to our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.